For those of you in the gym, we will be filming for Shaw Television. So, just so you know. When I see something that's good, I'm going to tell you to hold it. Right? Welcome to the beautiful gymnasium at Muscum. I'm Henry Charles. I'm here to welcome you all to the tradi our traditional territories and tell you a little brief history of the salmon that used to run up the mouth of the Fraser River. It was a great sockeye salmon run, and what had happened is when we go out there now, we look out at the mouth of the river when we walk beside the river, we look at the salmon, they don't jump anymore, they're all gone. But we're here to uh, have a good day about uh, basketball and sport in the Musqueam Nation, and these, all these girls here are to compete in a, in a beneficial game for the enhancement of the wild salmon in the, in the beautiful city of Vancouver. But we're at the Muscum Indian Reserve. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stalo had a stem the hill, the the talk I ne quats nook the tat in the stalo. I would the salt in the clump haya. When I know I see him tender mistake, not to a sailor named Sawalam, ne were muskim hawalam tout, ne high tender squares could need to mock on. I'd like to thank everybody today coming down to the traditional territories of the Musqueam Nation. At one time at the mouth of the river, the salmon used to run. So plentiful up to the up to the <clears throat> the other small creeks, but now when we walk along the cr the river, we look for the sockeye. They're not there anymore. They're gone. They've disappeared. But we can, but we're here today to try to have a beautiful enhancement game of our young ladies here for, to protect the wild salmon. And it's a beautiful day. So thank you all for coming on the traditional territories of the Muscum Nation to host this event. Heights go see Thank you. Jay, uh, you approached me with about uh, trying to do a food giveaway and then have sports day. And I thought, um, live off reserve, so I wanted to try to help out the people in need. So I got to, together with uh, some of my teammates and, uh, and um, got some money from uh, green, green stone concrete, and uh, uh, my friends, uh, the foreman there, Corey Johnson, and um, so hopefully that working together with you and the Wild Sound Warriors that we can uh, come and do a better events and tournaments and food giveaways and looking forward to the future. Um, hi, I'm Emily. I'm at um, Musqueam First Nation Sports Day and the basketball game is about to start. I've been playing some tunes and just hanging out and talking to people and seeing how it's going. Yeah. <laughs> Check, check.
That's two points for bands, make or dance, in your blue uniforms here, Musqueam First Nation. Two points for number 14 in your program. If we had programs, that'd be number 14, just so you know. We're gonna make it up as we go here. All my relations on the board. Way to call your own foul there, Sarah. Number 15, what is that? <laughs> I'm just getting a batter on the mic, so get used to it.
Got a tie game here, 314 left in the first quarter. Fans make her dance versus Friendship Center team called All My Relations. All My Relations will be going to the All Native Tournament, Prince Rupert. Sarah, number 15 in your program, two points. Into the game is number 23, Michaela Fiorito. Jolene Mitten. It's Kelsey Blair there in the post. Sarah Hodemarie on the outside for two. Let's hear some applause. We need some applause on scoring, eh? Come on. There we go. Foul number 10, she calls her own foul. There you go. Inbounding, number 23. Up. It's number nine in your program. She'll Kelsey Blair there, top of the point. All right, doing a bench side interview here with Jen as the play goes on. So, uh, Jen, how you doing? Pretty good, thanks. So, what do you think of the game so far? Uh, I think it's very competitive, and I think White's doing very well. Any uh, complaints or uh, gratitude to the referees right now? No, they, they're not very good. That's self-refereeing, so that's really a call on yourself. Uh, how do you feel about that? I think it's true. I'm a terrible ref. All right, so uh, do we have any uh, game analysis on who to watch uh, here in the game? Uh, we have an addition to our team, number 23. It's nice to have another post player. And I think they're uh, number, I don't know what number she is, but she's having a good game already. There you go, winding down the first quarter here. Uh, Sarah almost put the buzzer beater. All right, we're going to go the gray team to see who's actually in their lineup because we have no idea. So this is uh, welcome. You're Musqueam First Nations. I'm your host, Jay Peachy. Let's get the lineup here. All right. Just names and numbers. All right. How you doing? How's Jolene? We got Jolene here uh, first quarter. Uh, we have, it's, it's tough, we have no subs, but we're doing okay, I think. Yeah. Has your, uh, are you doing any holiday shopping, or? Not, I haven't even started. <laughs> uh, great, uh, so what do you think the first uh, quarter has your uh, play? She's number nine. Okay, All right, Make, give her a breath, eh? Come on. All right, let's get a fan interview here. Uh, we have uh, Musqueam family here, uh, Henry Charles. What do you think the gameplay so far? Well, it's been a fabulous game, Jay Beachy. I've never seen such excellent, excellent basketball in my life. Very competitive, and I'm, uh, the, the camaraderie is quite excellent. That's honest truth for Mr. Henry Charles. All right, and uh, let's uh, get the scorekeeping here. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Dale. And uh, you've been recruited here just last minute. How do you feel in just coming in the game and doing the points and everything. Good, good. Uh, excellent ball so far. Hopefully it's going to get better. What's the, what's the key to scorekeeping? Because like, there's lots going on and people can get mad and angry. And, uh, do, you, do you have a 
like a secret? Uh, just uh, trying to focus on uh, the play and uh, uh, try and get people to stay out of the way so I can see. <laughs> so don't get away the scorekeeper, peace. All right, back to you. All right, we're going to the second quarter. Score is 14-10 for, who's 14? They are, so great teams, 14, all my relations. They're, they got five players, that's pretty tough. So uh, for those of you in the audience, I might come by with a microphone, so be prepared. I'd like to thank uh, Brian McKinley from Silversides Fishing for doing this fish soup. He caught this fish himself and there you go. All right, second quarter is about to start. Inbounds, all my relations in gray from the Vancouver Friendship Center. Yeah, and bands make her dance in the blue. All right, we got your lineup here. For those of you in the audience, number 21 in gray is Krista, I believe. Jalissa is in the yellow jersey, sponsored by Nike Elite. Joe is number nine in the gray jersey, Sarah number 15, and Kelsey number 10, player slash coach. That's Kelsey to Sarah for two points. Jolene Minton with a steal, number four, Krista. It's a blue rebound, number 14, Shand Subin Thandi. I hope I spelled that right, said that right. Number four. 15, Sarah with a rebound, up court. We got a foul, is that a shooting foul? No. Okay, no shooting fouls in this game, modified rules. All right, number 10. Need some help with pronunciation, please. All right, we got another uh, courtside interview for those in the truck here, if you want to come down to me. So, uh, all right, who we got here? Number 21, Shmaila Thandi, is that right? Yeah. So is that your sister, Sveen? Yeah, my twin sister. So who's better? Uh, pretty close, pretty close, but we know it's me. Are you, you're being humble. I know, she's pretty hard to work in. So uh, what position do you prefer to play? Uh, four or five, sometimes three. So that leads her to playing the guard, I guess, eh? I guess, but she plays usually the same. How about game styles? Uh, your game style versus your sister? Uh, Passive aggressive or just go to the hoop? I'm more mouthier than her, but she's more aggressive. So you're intellectually a better trash talker than her? Yeah, I can. No, 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 we're pretty much the same. She's more aggressive, I guess. Yeah. So what's the best trash talking you've heard on the court? What? Pardon me? What's the best trash talking you've heard on the court, either receiving or giving? Uh, receiving, but especially in fouls. calls for Yeah. So um, which traditional territory do you represent, whether it's uh, indigenous, local, or like 
heritage culture? Do you identify with any nation? Uh, no, East Indian, that counts. Yeah. See the, oh, there you got Posse, right on. See, there's East Indian, West Indian, so I guess here in Canada, it's like Central Indian. That's, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure it out. Right? It's because Christopher Columbus went and looked for India, and then they landed here, right? This is the whole thing, right? Cool. All right, thanks for the interview. We'll get your sister's perspective. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, back to the truck. All right, we got a sub, number 21's coming in. Uh, coming. Oh, right in the middle, gameplay. Wow, that's amazing. All right, what's your name? Uh, number 14, that's your sister, eh? Savine Thandy. Did you hear your sister talk smack about you on the, on the course there? What do you think about that? No, she never talk smack about me. No. You're kidding that she wouldn't talk smack? Yeah. So what kind of smack would she talk about? What's, what's her best trash talking line? Come on. Can't say, eh? Can't say. It's community TV. I get it. It's all good. Right on. All right. So, what do you think of the gameplay so far? Ah, uh, it's pretty good, but we're a little rusty. We've been playing it for a while, so just like that. Yeah. You can beat them on numbers. You know, it's still half a game, eh? For sure. So, what's your strategy? They're not listening. Uh, they got to rebound and work on the offense. It's not working. You want to call out any players on the mic right now? Ah, uh, that girl right there, number 23. <laughs> Yeah, what do you want to say about her? All right, that's the game analysis from the bench. Uh, number 23 has got to rebound a little bit better. It's, uh, but, all right, look at that. So, uh, all right, have we got a timeout here? Is that what's going on? Got a little TV timeout. So let's get some bench talk here. No, they don't want any bench talk. All right, we're going to see who else wants to talk here during our TV timeout. We'd like to thank the crew, the production crew. That's uh, Gregor Yawn in the, the truck with Dave Green out of the Shaw Surrey Studios. Uh, they're outside weathering the snow. And, uh, can someone get water? All right, I've turned into a water boy, just so you know, like, you know, Mike. Uh, so anybody can actually help get water for the team. There's five of them. So uh, we'll be right back.
Okay, everybody, your halftime entertainment. Emily Malloy, who just recently produced a show called Beyond Fossil Fuels at the Railway Club. So uh, we'll just give it to her. She got about uh, four and a half minutes. So these guys give me a break, all right? Emily Malloy. Give her a hand, everybody. So we got Kelsey Blair here, player coach. All right, so uh, Kelsey, we're here with Kelsey. Can you see us? We wait for that red light to go on. Oh, okay, we're going up there. No, here we go. All right, we are with Kelsey here, um, bench side, half time. How's the play been? Uh, good so far. Yeah, lots to work on, but um, they're a really good competition, so it's awesome. Good chance for the break. Short bench, so what's the strategy? <laughs> lots of timeouts. <laughs> no, lots of timeouts and just conserving our energy. You know, we, we like to push as a team, but today just kind of laying back a little and taking some more time on offense. So how do you get a water boy? Like, what's the best, b best way to get someone to do water? Um, usually he's wearing a red headband and glasses, and often he roller skates around. All right, that's your halftime report. Kelsey Blair. All right, we got uh, 13 more seconds to game time here, and uh, it's 31-18. The short bench has beaten them. That's uh, it's pretty crazy. So, all right, how's uh, scorekeeping going here? But uh, all right, what's this? Yeah, let's get a halftime report uh, from you. What do you uh, what do you think of the gameplay so far? Uh, short bench, you know. Number 15 is uh, is uh, kicking butt here, so they gotta find an answer for number 15, the blue. 
and uh, Blue has to take some shots. They're not taking any shots. So too much just uh, dribbling. Yeah. All right, we're gonna ask them. Yeah. Check. All right, we're gonna go to the blue bench. You guys ready to play? Uh, the feedback is you gotta shoot a little more. Is that what do you think about that? We need to shoot more apparently. Sandy, what do you have to say about that? Pass down here to Sandy. Um, I agree. I concur. All right, more shooting. All right, that's your game report. More shooting on blue. You know they got a short bench. Got to make them run the floor. All right, Peachy here. I think uh, the blue, they just, uh, they got to, you got to, they got to use the whole floor. Look how big this gym is, eh? So we'll just see what happens. Uh, more shooting. They got 10 minutes in this quarter. And um, going to inbound it here. We got 10 minutes in this third quarter. It's 31-16 for the gray team. Uh, so 16 is bands make or dance. So here we go. Gameplay. Check, check. Okay, fans, back action here, third quarter. On my relations out of Vancouver, Coast Salish Territories. Home of traditional Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh. They're up 35-18. So the feedback on the, from the fans is that the blue team's got to shoot more. So we'll just see what happens in the third quarter. They've got an extra player on the bench, so hopefully they can take advantage of... Um, more people there, so let's see what happens here. Thirty-seven, eighteen. It's Matthew, Matthew Steger. Yeah, I'm uh, from Musqueam Golf Learning, Learning Academy. I was working in the golf shop there. Here, what's going on? So we have uh, just a little putting mat here, and uh, I'll do a little demonstration. Oh, that hazard there, eh? right? oh, yeah. That's, you that you gotta have a flat surface. You, the you gotta have a flat surface. Oh. It's as easy as that. Wow. Okay. It's a sinker. Easy as that. Then we have a uh, little, it's called snag golf over here. And you uh, just grab one of these golf balls right here. You tee it up. And you just try to hit it right in the middle there.
All right, back to the gameplay here. Sarah with the rebound to uh, Jalissa. Sarah for two, number 15 in your program from the Friendship Center. Kelsey Blair with a steal. Do we count those points? Yeah, those points count. There's controversy there about the backboard. There we go, two for number, is that a three? Is that a three? Yeah, I think it's a three. Number four, Krista off the glass. That's two points for the Friendship Center, All My Relations. Going to Prince Rupert in February. Good D in the key there. There you go, 23, Michaela Fiorito shooting one in there. Got heavy defense there. Blue ball. All right, Chantel Dirksen inbounds. Number 10 is your guard. Sanchezka Stranek. We got a foul there on number 10, Kelsey Blair. Got heavy defense with number 10 and 15. Two twin towers there defending the paint. Jolene Minton for two on the breakaway. Pass from number 10, Kelsey Blair, player coach, UBC Thunderbird. Chantel Jerkson from the outside for two. Bands make her dance. Closing the gap. Number four, Krista. Got defense there, turn it around pretty quick here. Number 21, uh, Myla Dandy. White ball, A little straight pass there. Jolene Mitten. What's that? Harrison, the coach of the Stan is the Awalam the Chess. Harrison, the Stan is the. The Welsh the ball up in up in the cat and the when I know I had a stance in the names the the chess the quads look under the slani and look stuck had a stem set up in the up in the nata up in Welsh Welsh the ball ah. Harrison, where's the ball? Harrison, the the slani, the catcher. Where's the ball? Ah! Oh. 
Fabulous game we've got on. I've been asked to do a guest commentary with my good friend Jay Peachy. The girls are absolutely fabulous. From all my relations on my left hand side here, being spectacular, and the girls on the other side, being absolutely amazing. It's been a wonderful basketball game today, and an honor to watch them on the lands of the Muskegon Nation. All right. We've got uh, Shannon Hecker here, his uh, settler ally, UBC student. Sociology, is that right? Anthropology. Sorry, anthropology. And so uh, you've been putting together the uh, production volunteers. How's that been going? Um, pretty good. We've got some coffee and some salmon soup, some smoked salmon and some of those snacks um, by donation. We also are doing some crafts. We're making some stars, which is a, a Danish tradition. Um, and we're also making some cedar wreaths and just enjoying our time watching the girls, the women play. So, uh, talk about how you got to know Muskegon First Nations here. Your, uh, did, is that through your schoolwork? Um, well, I, it was recommended, uh, suggested by a professor of mine um, to class two years ago to go down to the village site of Susnam and show our support for the vigil that had been going on to protect the, the burial site from um, desecration. They were trying to build condos there, and um, I'm glad to say that we were successful in preventing any further desecration. There were um, some remains that were uncovered, which um, sort of spurred the vigil, because that had to be stopped, of course. And uh, it was, Muskegon was able to uh, purchase back the land. Um, and um, I think there's some plans to, to turn it into a sort of welcoming site, welcome to Muskegon territory. I, I don't know all the details, so, but I look forward to seeing what happens. All right, thanks, Shannon. Was that too fast? Oh, it's second cut. Hi, right, here with Shannon. Uh, how's it going? Do it again? No, we're just having fun. So the guys and see you in the red lights on. We're talking to them. Henry is. Uh, I think we're too fast. That's what Henry like. He's laughing at us. We're just cutting away like. I want to just look a lot of the little man Nicole. The whole mock country. I would understand the no no. I am miss. Like I said, I don't understand. You guys are making me laugh. <laughs> There you go. That's from Muskegon Elder Henry Charles. Also a Raven Trickster. Back to you in the studio. We got Martin Sparrow, Musqueam community member. How you doing? Pretty good. Um, here on behalf of uh, Musqueam, we have to really look at our, our, our people and look at our children and start putting basketball back in Musqueam. We have to start with leadership, you know, and start guiding these young ones today with our culture, not just basketball, it's carving, weaving, you know, our language, you know, with, like what Henry does. So I'm here to support and be a part of it, you know, the years to come and start, you know, making our children look at how much it's important to be doing this and carrying it on for generations. So, so, all right, back to the gameplay. We got 47-27 uh, for the uh, All My Relations team. Oh, their rejection by number 10, Kelsey Blair. Oh, Jalissa in the yellow. Sponsored by Lance Armstrong. I don't know what's in the yellow jersey. <laughs> Sorry, it's a Lance Armstrong. Go ahead, let him in. It's just the yellow. Oh, they're off the glass. 
Who's that? That was Jolene Minton, I think. We'll have to check the replay. That was Joe Jolene Minton off the glass. Oh, there you go. Keep it up high. That's number 23, Michaela Fiorito from Bands Who Can Dance. Oh, Jolene, tough luck. That's a two iron banger out of the in and out. There you go, off the glass. Michaela, back to back hoops, her number 23. Closing that gap. Fourth quarter, 743 down, I don't know. Oh, I got an offensive foul there. Shakes it off. All right, can we get some gameplay? So how are you feeling right now, fourth quarter? Pretty tired. <laughs> We're, we switched to a 2-3 zone, so we'll see how that goes. So what does that look like, 2-3 zone? The defense, three down low and two at the top. So uh, if someone breaks from the defense, what type of, like, uh, Discipline happens on the bench. What was that? Sorry. If someone breaks the two-three zone and starts going, uh, you know, man to man or woman to woman, like, what kind of? How do you deal with that on the bench? Um, Tough love. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, back to the action. Kelsey Blair bringing up the court. Six forty. Two left in the fourth quarter. Outside shot, rebound by number fifteen. All right, that's a white ball. Look at that, the non-slip. I feel like stepping on this, but I got, I got outside shoes, so that might be bad. All right, Jolene Mitten hits one. Jalissa with a rebound to number 10, Kelsey Blair. Maybe she's playing two guard now, I'm not quite sure. For three, Jalissa shoots one from Prince Rupert. Oh yeah, look. It's a running layup by number 24, Jen Dudley. All right, we have a fan interview here. Uh, uh, we've got uh, Louise Reynolds uh, here. Uh, how are you doing? Good. Have you done all your Christmas shopping? Uh, almost. So uh, what do you think of the basketball, the gameplay here so far? I think they're doing really well. They're playing a good game, and uh, I see they're playing together, so it's awesome. And which team are you referring to? Both. OK, good. So, uh, did you play basketball as a kid? In elementary school, yeah. Does this bring back memories? Oh yeah, fun times. Do you want to get on the court? Do you want to play? Uh, no. Okay. All right, she doesn't want to play. Back to you. All right, we're going to do an interview with Brian here. There's a three second violation. You gotta shoot. Three seconds or you get kicked out. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, eat your meal or otherwise someone will eat your dinner for you. <laughs> All right, another two for bands who can dance. Jolene Mitten lighting it up. Gonna need to replace the lamps on the scoreboard for Jolene, eh? Huh? Gotta pay for those. I think those are quartz halogen. 
All right, we got 337 left in your game. Got an outside shot. Shmile at Dandy from uh, 18 feet. 56-39 for the white team. Kelsey Blair playing point guard. Jolene Mittenoff, the front of the rim. Rebound to number 24, Jen Dudley. Carrying up the court, Sanchezka Stranach, number 10. Go inside, right up, right away, Jen Dudley. That's, get it in the paint and in the hoop. 41-56. Jolene Mitten just on inside. That's for two. She's shooting from the left and right side of the hoop. Just got everyone confused which side to defend her on. We got for three. Oh, that's a three pointer, Sanchezka Stranek. We got that on film. That's like 3.2 points, it's pretty far out there. One on two, decides to pull back. Inside pass. Oh, could have shot there. Jolene Mitten on the right wing. Jolene Mitten from the outside, a little strong. Kelsey Blair with a rebound and two points for all my relations. 1.30 left in the game time here. There we go. Outside shot by Shmalathandi, I believe. They're twins, so I can't figure them out until they turn around. <laughs> Two forty-six. We got a minute left in the game here. Probably two possessions here for going by the thirty-second clock. Got a block on number twenty-three, Michaela Fiorito. Down to thirty-eight seconds. Stop time. Moving around. Sarah, number 15 in your program for two. Probably the last possession here. Bantu could dance. 15 seconds left in the game. Oh, a rejection. Oh, it's a foul. Last two, Jen Dudley. Three. Two. There's your game, everybody. Give him a hand. Thank you, Muskegon First Nations, bands, who can dance, all my relations. Final score, 64-48. Fast-paced game. All right, we're going to do uh, probably bench interviews on both sides, and then we'll wrap it up with uh, Henry Charles. Why don't you follow behind him? All right, we're here at Musqueam First Nations. Final score, 64-48 for all my relations, just playing shorthanded there. And they're down a water person, so let's, uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get an interview there with uh, Kelsey Blair. It was a good game. It was really nice of them to come out and play us and give us a run before the holidays, and uh, everybody work off a little turkey pre-Christmas, so that's awesome. There you go, Kelsey Blair from the bench. Uh, number 23, Kayla Fiorito. So, uh, oh, just what you thought of the game? What I think. 
Yeah, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you think you played? Uh, I, th I thought we picked it up in the second half. Uh, and uh, when we switched to the zone defense, that was most helpful. So uh, more aggressive shooting in the second half there, or maybe the last third of the, third, third of the game? We found a way to break their zone D and tore it apart in the second half. You got, uh, you know, Kelsey and Sarah there in the paint, eh? It's pretty intimidating. You got a UBC CIS All-Star. Uh, how'd you uh, psychologically break that? We have some, some All-Stars of our own on this team. Dudley played in the CIS. We have some BCAA athletes on this team, so. So I'm hearing a rematch, eh? Is that uh, hearing a rematch? Rematch? Guys, rematch? Yeah, yeah that's a yes. Yeah, so what would you think of the, the game here? It was a... Uh, Messy. Yeah. So uh, why would you say that? Good, like good mess. We can eventually clean it up, or it's gonna take. Uh, it's. It wasn't controlled. Not what we're used to. But we worked too hard as a team, and we all came out in the end, and we all had fun. So that's what it meant. Yeah, that's that's what matters, right? So. Oh, we got a comment here all the way from Langley. It's far away to go. Saying we all live quite far. So. Okay, well, next time we gotta make the transit even. So we gotta meet halfway, maybe Surrey, eh? Huh? A Surrey game? All right. There you go. For those of you in Surrey, if you've got a court, we got the rubber match. Hi, it's Kasiem Tanak Nislani. Harrison, the question of Harrison, the Lee Hawalam Tout, when I know I Tanak Nislani, not so much was Kuala Winset, not so much was Kuala Kwa. Hi, it's Kasiem Tanak Mastiok, and the Harrison, the question of Tanak Nislani, the Mana, the in the squad, the Shiet, the Hai Tanak Nislani, the Mak, and not so much Kuala Kwa. Otherwise, it means like, thank you, ladies, for coming down and have a spectacular day of a game of basketball to help enhance the wild salmon. And we're all one family united as one. And we will all go home and enjoy the time of the high born child. And we'll all see each other next year. Thank you to Emily Malloy, who's been playing all day. Wild Salmon Sports Day, John Sparrow, who is a host, all the camera people, Dave and Gregor in the truck, Eric, Peter, Rory Sign, I forgot what your name is, Brian, and uh, see you all probably in January. You might have a tournament then. Take care.